You should quarantine your fish. I'll get about parasites. We're gonna turn it on. Bacteria and fungus. And it takes one hour. So hopefully you guys can see it. It is spring. One milliliter. Major bucket list fish. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything in the aquarium hobby. And before we jump into this video, I'm going to ask you for a huge favor. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, perfect opportunity right now. Hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that bell. Make sure you turn it on, all right? It's just a notification bell. It's going to notify you when I upload a new video, and it's absolutely free now that we got that out of the way i can't wait to jump into this video because a big important part of the aquarium hobby is quarantining your fish now a lot of us like myself don't have extra aquariums or extra space for a quarantine system now some of you guys that are new to the hobby are like what's a quarantine system now you're told when you actually purchase a fish from your local fish store or big box store and you bring it back home before you introduce it to your aquarium or your pond you should quarantine your fish for about two weeks meaning you have a separate aquarium you add chemicals to that aquarium and then you treat them for different parasites, bacteria, and fungus. I'm gonna show you a really safe and easy alternative where you don't need a bunch of extra aquariums or a quarantine system. All you need is time and it takes one hour to do it. Now it's not 100% gonna kill everything in your fish, but it's definitely an alternative and it definitely helps. It's better than grabbing your fish from the local fish store and just introducing it to your aquarium or your pond, okay? So let's jump into this video and check it out. Okay, so I have my bag with fish in it inside the pond just kind of getting a little acclimated all right to the temperature now in the meantime i have my five gallon tote this is five gallons i have look at that my portable usb rechargeable aerator this thing is awesome i'm telling you guys if you guys want a really good aerator uh this is the one it's the aqqa i get it on higer the link will be down in the description use promo code ohana that's o-h-a-n-a -A. get 20 percent off i have like four of these there's a bigger one this is the smaller one the bigger one can like I think air rate up to 180 gallons. This one I think is like 160 or 120. It's something like that. All I need it is for this for about an hour. So what I'm going to do to acclimate my fish is I'll put, oh, I'll take this off just in case it falls into the water because it's not waterproof. So I'll put that on the side there. We'll put it right there. And I'm going to get a little bit of the pond water, okay? Now you can do this with aquarium fish. So what I'll do is I'll get about... I don't know what that is, less than a quarter, I would say. Yeah, probably less than a quarter full. So I'm literally gonna take the bag of fish and dump the whole thing in the tote here with the water, fish and water at the same time. So hopefully you guys can see it. So you can see the water height is almost up to the top. So it's like three quarter, I would say three quarter way full. And we have our beautiful fish in there. And this is where I'm gonna go ahead and stick the aerator in. We're gonna turn it on. It's got two modes. It's got where it can bubble the whole time. This is intermittent. So what that means is it'll go on for 10 seconds, shut off for five, go on for 10, something like that. So right now it's an intermittent. You'll see the bubble stop. And then you'll see it start up again in about five seconds. So that's intermittent. What that does is save the life of the battery. But this bad boy fully charged, and if you're gonna run it continuously like this, will last like something like 23, 26 hours, something like that. And if you run it on intermittent, I think it's a little bit more. So it saves the life of the battery if you want to run it long. Just so you know, koi fish are jumpers. So if you're going to fill this up to the top, they might jump out into the pond, which is okay. You just got to net them and put them back in here. But before we actually invite them into the pond, we are going to treat this water here with minfin. It's gonna take care of any type of bacteria, fungus, um, any type of parasite that these koi fish may have. You just never know. This is just gonna protect the rest of the fish that you have in your pond or aquarium. This works for aquarium fish too as well. Now, the reason why we're using a five gallon tote to better to measure the minfin in five gallons versus like a little bag. Like we could have put some minfin in the bag if we wanted to for an hour and then put the fish or introduce the fish 
into the pond, um, but we didn't do it that way, all right? It's just, I don't want to guess on the measurements. It's just easier, and I'm going to go get the min fin. I'm going to show you how we apply this, but first, I want to let these guys sit for about 15 minutes or so, just to get used to the uh, water that was in here from the pond, and what I will do every 15, 20 minutes is I'll grab this bowl here, get a little bit of the pond water, and just put a little bit at a time, like maybe every 10 minutes or so, so I'll do that for the next, like, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes and get the water line at least near the top here. Not totally full, but near the top. And then I'll apply my min fin because this is five gallons total. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to do it the most simplest way. But, oh, look at how beautiful these fish are, huh? If you guys haven't seen the video where I actually got these fish and whatnot, I'll leave a link up above. Click that link. Go check it out. I ordered these fish through an app that Koi Enterprise has. My boy Anthony has a live sale every Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go check out the app, guys. You guys can get imported beautiful, I should say beautiful, imported Japanese Koi from Japan just by the push of a button through your smartphone. Another shameless plug for my boy Anthony. We're gonna get this bad boy filled up in another maybe 15, 20 minutes. We'll be back and then we'll apply the Minfin, okay? I'll see you guys in a second. So this is Minfin, I got both sizes. This size here treats like 2,200 gallons. So this I use for my pond, obviously, if I'm gonna treat the entire pond and or entire fish tanks. They also have a smaller size, the Minfin. They're both two parts. This is a lot easier, I would say, for aquariums and smaller gallons, like the five gallon bucket here. So it comes with a droplet, which is really cool and it comes with the instructions on how much to treat. So to treat 10 gallons is 2.25 milliliters. So we're gonna cut that in half. That's for 10 gallons. This is five gallons. We're gonna cut it in half, which is about a little over one milliliter. So we're gonna go ahead and eyeball that. And it comes with the min fin right here and it comes with the neutralizer but we're not going to use the neutralizer we would use the neutralizer if we treated the entire aquarium or the entire pond so we're not doing that we're just going to unscrew the top it actually smells it smells like uh peroxide that's what it smells like so we're going to take the droplet or the dropper whatever you call it and we're going to get all the air bubbles out of it we're going to get it to where it's just over one milliliter which that is the perfect dosage right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this down and this is how easy it is. Right there, we're just gonna pour it right down inside. Just like that. That aerator you definitely need that's gonna actually mix the min fin together with the water, but it's also gonna make these fish actually really calm and not so stressed out. Now we actually set our timer for one hour exactly. Once that hour is up, we're not gonna dump this water in the pond. We're actually just gonna hand or maybe net them if you have a net, but we're gonna hand grab them and just release them into the pond. And that's what I do to treat every single one of my new koi and or aquarium fish. Minfin makes it so easy to treat your fish for parasites, bacteria, fungus, without even having a quarantine system or a quarantine tank or a tub. A lot of us don't have the room or the space for a quarantine tank. Right here on the back, it shows all of the parasites, bacteria, and fungus. Not only that though, I made an entire playlist devoted to Minfin. I call it the wonder drug. This isn't snake oil, Ohana. I'm sharing this with you guys. Right up above there in the corner. Okay, go click that link. I made a playlist just for Minfin. All the different ways you can use Minfin, how it works, why it works. I have the owner of Minfin on one of the videos talking about his experience with it what he did, how he created it, it's super interesting. You can get it from my boy Anthony over at Koi Enterprise. You can actually order it through his app. I have both sizes. This one here treats 220 gallons for this one, and this one treats 2,240 gallons. So I have both sizes. If you guys wanna know how much it costs, I got this from my boy Anthony, $65. That is not bad for treating 2,200 gallons of water and the safety of your fish you know what I mean? You spend thousands of dollars on koi fish and or aquarium fish. This one here, if you want the smaller one, right there, look at, uh, I can't, if you guys can see it right there, 20 bucks, 19.99 for the smaller box, which treats 220 gallons. So being that I use five gallon increment doses inside this tub here, 
it lasts a pretty long time. This is a really easy way too of quarantining your fish, just reassuring the safety and the health of your fish. It's been one hour. Now you can see I added the lid so they wouldn't jump out. So don't forget, you do have a lid when it comes to these containers. Also, they have bigger containers too, you know? This is a five gallon one, they have like 30 gallon one. So if you got like a big arowana or arapaima, something like that, like something big, a big fish, uh, maybe a clown knife or something, and you want to treat him with minfin before you add him to your collection, you do the same thing. You just apply all the minfin, the right amount, in your tote, just like I'm doing here, and it'll treat your fish. Make sure you have an aerator in there. It's super important that you have air uh, so the fish don't stress out because they're gonna be in there for you know over an hour. Make them comfortable, but we're pretty much done here, so let's go ahead and just um, take them out by hand and uh, put them in the pond. So some of you guys that saw the video that I actually picked these beautiful koi up at, um, you were probably wondering if I treated them for parasites or quarantine them. This is my way of quarantining the fish. So up and over, and we let him go. Look at, oh, my beautiful Tancho Kohaku. That's a bucket list fish of mine. This is another one. I do have a Shisui, a regular Shisui. This one's a butterfly Shisui. It's beautiful too, just long fins. Look at the side. This is one of two fish that have the color blue in it. You can see the top is a blue, and we're gonna go ahead and release him into the pond really fast. Welcome home. And then this one here, major bucket list fish for me, Ki Uturi, black and yellow, Ginrin though, so it's got jewels on top of it, like a diamond, yes, just like a diamond. So we're gonna go ahead and lift this guy up. Ooh, this guy's lively, he's a nice size too. Ooh. There you go. That's the easiest way to quarantine your fish. Only one hour. Now I gotta give a huge shout out to Mr. Paul Curtis, the inventor of Minfin. If you guys have any questions on Minfin, leave them down below in the comments. I usually tag Mr. Paul Curtis and he usually is down in the comments answering questions. So feel free, fire away. If not, all the links will be down in the description below. If you guys wanna get some Minfin, Koi Enterprises link will be down in the description below as well. Hope you guys learned a little something. Maybe I inspired you guys to get some new koi fish for your koi pond. It is spring, it's pond season. I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love and aloha.